Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. We've got a Kessley FX86 Ti for you today. Uh, this ski returns unchanged from last year, uh, so it's a carryover model. Great news for those that really like that mid-80s all-mountain ski. Uh, this is one of the best of the bunch. Uh, has that Kessley precision and quality that we've talked about for years. Uh, and just has that lighter, quicker, more agile attitude than a bunch of other skis at this level. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with the construction and shape of this awesome all-mountain ski. Uh, starting with the build, we got an interesting way of doing it. Um, Kessley uses stringers of poplar and beech in the central cord of the ski. Uh, they actually have this portion raised through the center, uh, so that kind of gives it even more dampness and stability. And then on the outer edges, they have a blend of poplar and polonia wood stringers. So lighter, more energetic, more free ride oriented on the edges, but still keeps the stability and dampness and that uh, on-trail personality that's super important, uh, fully intact with this 86 Ti. Uh, do get two sheets of metal, two layers of fiberglass, so the build is all there. Uh, just has a friendlier personality to it, uh, and a little bit softer of a flex in the shovel. Uh, one of the one of our testers' biggest uh, kind of positive responses was this ski and the moguls in the trees. So anytime you're having to make those tighter, more subsequent turns, uh, this ski and this shovel really, really take to that type of uh, application really, really well. Uh, but we do have that nice build. Uh, in the terms of shaping at 86 millimeters underfoot, uh, this 169 produces a 13.9 meter turn radius. So it is a little bit on the shorter side. Uh, when we take a quick look at the uh, taper shape, then it'll become a little bit more clear, but a little bit more of like a five point side cut in this ski. Uh, and that makes a whole lot of sense for having that agility in softer snow uh, while not giving up any of the, you know, quicker turn performance on firm stuff. Uh, and then we also get that nice width appropriate rocker profile really makes this thing, you know, a decent floater for, for its shape. Um, but, you know, certainly no one's expecting this to be a powder ski, but for people that are looking for one ski to do everything, it definitely makes a lot of sense. So we do have that nice positive camber underfoot, gets you that nice edge grip. And then that tip rocker, you know, it's pretty minimal, leads to a pretty good splay. Um, the fact that it is kind of a lighter and more accessible shovel means that you don't have to have a fully bowed out rocker profile. Uh, that's more what like the ZX100 is for. Uh, but this one has, you know, is definitely meant to perform on trail. You know, when we talk about it versus Kessley skis like MX, we definitely see more of that tip rocker shape, a uh, little bit longer and lower. So gives that more playful personality. Uh, taper in the tip, you know, that wider part comes down a little bit farther, giving you just a tad of kind of that free ride fun. Uh, also brings that wider part lower to shorten up that turn radius. And then we see that in the shovel as well with that tip shape, that widest part brought down right about here. So right about where the rocker starts. Uh, and that makes a whole lot of sense for floating through powder as well as getting that edge to hook up uh, sooner rather than later. So. Nice combination of taper and rocker in this ski to go along with a uh, pretty burly build. You know, it's not heavy, but it definitely has that stable sense to it, especially due to uh, that poplar and beach in the central portion of the wood core, in addition to the two sheets of metal. So if you're looking for one ski to do pretty much everything, no matter where you ski, uh, FX86 Ti is a fantastic choice. Check this thing out at skiessentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.